drive straight down the highway and the steering wheel's like this, and you're like, how can the steering wheel be crooked, but yet the vehicle's going straight? I'm gonna show you why that happens and how to fix it. Okay, so let's pretend now that we've got a vehicle and this is the aerial view. Tow is the measure of the distance from the outer edge of that tire and the outer edge of that tire, so this distance, compared to the outer edge of this tire and the outer edge of this tire at the front, this distance. And tow in would be if this distance was slightly smaller than this distance. Now let's pretend these tires are like this. And of course I'm exaggerating. You can set the tow to be correct and you have the steering wheel straight driving down the highway you're gonna be driving off the road. So in order to drive the vehicle straight down the highway and keep these wheels straight, you have to have the steering wheel at an angle. What I'm gonna show you today, you put the tow plate along the tire and then you run a string from the back of the wheels all around to the front of the wheels like this. And then you measure this distance. And these two distances, X and Y, should be the same. But in this exaggerated diagram, you can see there's no gap between the string and the plate here, and there's a large gap between the string and the plate there. That is how you measure the steer ahead angle. So to do it, you wanna put your steering wheel straight and block it in place, and I'll show you that. And then you can adjust the tie rods so the string to the plate and the string to the plate is the same. You can check the description for a discount code if you wanna purchase the plates. So the first step is to get yourself parked on a level surface. And if you have them, the plates, they, they really help make the job easier. If you, if you don't have turn plates, you can still do this procedure, uh, but you should put something underneath the wheels to reduce the friction between the tires and the ground magazines or some newspapers, a couple of plastic bags. Take your ratcheting steering wheel lock and put it on the seat. So you place your rag over the contact points of the steering wheel lock. And then give it a check this way, make sure it's sturdy. I like to get in the back seat, line my head up on the headrest of the driver's seat, which we know is centered, and look at the steering wheel and make sure it is lined up. If it needs a small adjustment, just change it at the base here. Pull this base towards you or away from you. Add or remove air pressure in all tires to set them factory spec. Now after the floor has been swept clean, you take the first toe plate and set it in front of the tire and take the center line of the hub and line it up with the etched line right down the center of the toe plates. And also as a quick check, look at where the tire comes around and disappears behind the toe plate. And it comes around and disappears behind the toe plate. That height of the toe plate is the same. And that'll tell you that this is centered. Do that on both sides. And next we wanna take the tape measures and install the, one of the tracks up front here. This is how it looks from the other side. So with the tape measure ends in place, we can now check toe. And with these Chev half tons, toe is expected to be about a sixteenth of an inch in. So 76 and 3 eighths. And 76 and 5 sixteenths. If we look at the nice conversion chart here, equivalent in inches, a sixteenth of an inch is 0.16 degrees toed in, which is just about perfect. But consult your vehicle's specifications. But now we're getting into the cool part, the steer ahead angle. You're gonna take the string, tie it off to something. In this case, I'm gonna tie it off to my trailer hitch, but if you don't have a trailer hitch, that's totally okay. You can tie it off to anything on the vehicle. So I've got it tied onto my trailer hitch, run it around, and I'm gonna intentionally fetch the string up in one of the treads at about the same height as this little notch is right there. There's a little notch cut in that center of that groove right there, and I just feed the string in just like dental floss when you're flossing your teeth. We'll run around, do the same thing over here. There it is, in that one. And you want to make sure that you tighten the string fairly snug. Now, in my case, I'm not even going to tie the second piece of string. I've just wrapped it around the trailer hitch, but again, if you don't have a trailer hitch, you're gonna have to tie the string to the other end. And you want it not like a guitar string, but fairly tight. And make sure the toe plates are pushed up to the wheel and centered 
and now it's time to take your measurement. The front measurement is going to be consistent because it's, it's set by the length of this. It's the back measurement that's important and be extremely precise here in 30 seconds of an inch. If the measurement of the string to the plate here is different on either side, then that means that the steering wheel is not aligned with the toe of the wheels. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, now that we have already set the toe of the wheels and we know the toe is correct, we need to adjust the toe on both sides equally, one way or the other, so that we align the toe with the steering wheel. Don't measure it up along here. You come right to the end, and we're about seven eighths right there. And I'll be checking it on the other side as well. And over here we are five eighths of an inch. That means that this has to move towards the center of the vehicle an eighth of an inch. And this has to move out about an eighth of an inch. And if I do that, this will be balanced out. If we focus on this front driver's side, in order for the distance between the string and the plate to diminish, that means this rear edge of the tire has to move out. And since the tie rod end is in the front of the axle, that means this tie rod end has to be screwed in to make the tie rod shorter. So I've cracked this nut free right here, and then I am turning the tie rod in to make it shorter. And I've turned it about three quarters of a turn. And let's go check our measurement to see if that made a difference. Before it was seven eighths of an inch, and now it is three quarters. So we've come in an eighth of an inch. Okay, so here we are on the pasture side. I've loosened that lock nut off, and I need to back out this tie rod to cause the outer part of the front wheel to move further out and the, the rear part of the front wheel to move in towards the center of the vehicle and that will increase the distance between the plate and the string. So we will give this turn and give this a snug up and see what this looks like. So now we have this side three quarters of an inch out and we have this side about three quarters of an inch out. So with the steering wheel straight and the same space between here and here, on both sides of the front wheels, we know that the front wheels are aligned with the steering wheel. You set the toe first, then you set the steer head angle, then you recheck the toe. Of course, you want the rear axle to be pushing in line with the center line of the vehicle. You don't want the rear axle to be pushing off to one side or the other. And that is called thrust angle. Now, to measure that, it's almost the exact same as what we did in the front. This plate was on the front driver's side, it's going to go in the rear passenger side. Front passenger side gets moved to the rear driver's side. And we will insert the string into the groove, just like you're flossing your teeth. Okay, we'll hook our two tape measures in. And now you're ready to measure toe for the rear wheels. If it's out of adjustment, you can adjust it. And when you're ready to measure the thrust angle, the same thing, you're gonna measure from the string to the plate and from the string to the plate on the other side, and they should be the same value. Vehicles that have independent rear suspension and have tie rods that allow adjustment. Vehicles with a solid rear axle, there's really no toe adjustment. The only thing you can do is loosen the U-bolts that hold the axle to the leaf springs and slide the axle forward or backward on one side or the other to set the thrust angle. So that's how you can measure steer ahead angle and thrust angle. So when you drive down the road, your steering wheel should be straight. I hope this video helps you out. Good luck with your do-it-yourself